Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video. So, um, this one is yet another overdue video, but, um, I mean, I posted it one time, but, um, it got kind of, well, sometimes with, when you make videos with Premiere, it can kind of get, uh, out of sync later on in the video, and, uh, obviously I didn't want that, so I removed the video, and I've been meaning to redo it for quite some time now, and... Now that I finally have some time to myself, since it's summer vacation and I've graduated high school and all, I can finally do that. So anyways, this is a monster, so this video will, needless to say, be pretty long, but, so brace yourselves. So, um, anyways, here it is. Boom! So yes, this is the huge Harry Potter Hogwarts collection, and it's, um, as you can tell, um, well, first I should say that, um, I mentioned th that I was going to do this video a while back, actually, um, if you remember my, uh, Lion King unboxing video, um, so, I was promising that I would, uh, eventually do the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection, it just would take me a while to save up for it, but, uh, thing is, I found a very sweet deal on it, um, uh, somewhere close to Black Friday, it was, like, a huge percentage off of all Harry Potter, um, collections, and this one was no exception, so, um, let's take a look at the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection, so, as you can tell by this constantly falling off, um, annoying, so, um, this is just, um, so it's a 31-disc set, Blu-ray, DVD, and Ultraviolet. Um, now, I didn't use the Ultraviolet. Um, I don't know how to use it. It's, I've heard that it's pretty much, you know, useless. So, um, and then, uh, before we go to the back, let's see, take a look at this panorama. Um, it's, um... It's all the characters, uh, well, most of them, anyways. So, um, from, on this row, we have left to right, uh, Dobby, Hagrid, Sirius Black, Professor McGonagall, Remus Lupin, Mad-Eye Moody, Luna Lovegood, Ginny, Draco, Albus Dumbledore, Harry, right there in the middle, makes sense, right there, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Collection, Embossed, always feels good, um, Ron Weasley, um, Hermione Granger, Neville Longbottom, Severus Snape, Lucius Malfoy, Bellatrix Lestrange, and Lord Voldemort, he who must not be named. And, um, you can see how this panorama is also good for another reason, because it kind of shows how the series evolves. Um, like, it goes Hogwarts, it goes from, like, a school to a full-on battleground, and... It's kind of weird to imagine, like, uh, when McGonagall says in the eighth movie, do your duty to our school, um, it doesn't even seem like a school anymore. It seems, like I said, more like a battleground. So, um, let's, uh, this is the back, and, um, so yes, all eight movies, plus the extended versions of the Sorcerer's Stone, or the Philosopher's Stone, for those of you who live in the UK, and, um, Chamber of Secrets, and also the Blu-ray 3D versions of, uh, both Deathly Hallows movies, and there's, um, and those also includes, uh, the Creating the World of Harry Potter series, uh, part one through eight, so, um, it kind of gives kind of an in-depth look, uh, for, um, a specific, um, aspect of the Harry Potter series, from, uh, like, story, and characters, music, stuff like that, and, um, there's all the different ratings for each of the Harry Potter movies, and, um, six out of the eight are rated, uh, no, wait, hold on, what am I doing here? Um, Four out of the eight are rated PG, and the other four are rated PG-13. Um, but, you know, it makes sense, because, you know, J.K. Rowling did say that she wanted the story to become darker and scarier as the story progressed, because, you know, 
Harry's growing up, and uh, he's facing all these uh, adversaries and fighting Voldemort. So, anyways, enough with the boring details. Let's get onto the box. So, um, this is basically just one big uh, cover, and oh, um, this is the uh, the Hogwarts crest, um, and it has Draco Dormian's Nunquam. Uh, oh, how do you say that word? Titillandus, which says, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon, which is basically the Hogwarts motto. And you've got all four houses here: Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, and the big H for Hogwarts. So, um, it basically just contains a big book, which uh, contains all the discs, all the movies, all the bonus features, and then some. So, um, let's have a look. So, uh, this is basically the, uh, table of contents, um, you've got a nice picture here from, uh, year one of Hogwarts, um, I actually had kind of a first look Hogwarts, first look of Hogwarts kind of experience, uh, when I was in Europe, if you'll remember my blog, uh, that I still, um, and I still have yet to post, um, a video detailing everything, but, um, we saw the Neuschwanstein, um, and that day it was snowing. It was like Elsa decided to let it go at the wrong time. So, um, and when I first saw the Neuschwanstein towers through the trees, I was just like, wow, this is like seeing Hogwarts for the first time. So, anyways, and then right here we have, uh, the heroes, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And, um, all eight years, plus the bonus disc, which we'll get to later. Okay. Then moving on to Year One, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or the Philosopher's Stone, for depending on where you live in. Um, Harry Potter learns on his 11th birthday that he is the orphaned son of two wizards and possesses magical powers of his own. At Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, he learns the high-flying sport of Quidditch and plays a thrilling, live chess game en route to facing a dark wizard bent on destroying him. So, um, each disc here, uh, has a different purpose. So, um, disc one is the Blu-ray version of the movie, both the theatrical and the extended versions. Um, the extended versions has some scenes like, um... Like, um, Hagrid telling Harry that he's always wanted a dragon on the train. And then he just nods to a muggle, and the muggle just looks down at her newspaper. And then, uh, disc two is the DVD version of the theatrical Sorcerer's Stone. Disc three has, uh, special features, such as, um, Capturing the Stone, A Conversation with the Filmmakers, Visit Diagon Alley and enjoy self-guided self tours of Hogwarts and Hagrid's Hut. Enter the library to find a book full of surprises, etc. And a gallery of art and architecture. And then, um, this disc right here on Blu-ray is Creating the World of Harry Potter, Part 1, The Magic Begins. It has a special intro by Dan Radcliffe, um, and, uh, just some other stuff, and, uh, I've actually watched part one, I still have wa yet to watch the other eight parts, but, you know, that's, you know, eight parts, you know, it should speak for itself, it's going to take a while. So, uh, moving on to year two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Cars fly, trees fight back, and a mysterious house elf comes to warn Harry Potter at the start of his second year at Hogwarts. Adventure and danger await when bloody writing on a wall announces... The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. To save Hogwarts will require all of Harry, Ron, and Hermione's magical sk magical abilities and courage. So, disc one here on Blu-ray. The Chamber of Secrets, theatrical and extended versions. Um, the extended versions has some, like, extra stuff that, uh, Nocturne Alley, like, uh, Draco and, uh, his father, Lucius, uh, visiting, um, a rather shabby looking store, and then uh disc two is the theatrical version of the movie on d v d um special features on the d v d disc three 
include a conversation with uh, J.K. Rowling and Steve Kloves, the screenwriter for seven of the eight movies, um, student yearbook character Q&A, uh, tour of the Chamber of Secrets, Diagon Alley and Dumbledore's office, build a scene, uh, etc. Um, then uh, part two of creating the world of Harry Potter is characters, like screen tests, screen tests with uh, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, and Emma Watson. Um, for those of you who have been paying attention on YouTube lately, um, you know that you might know that Emma Watson will be in a new Disney movie. Um, it's a remake of Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, I you should see it. It looks really good. I haven't seen my mom that excited for a movie since, uh, I think since maybe Maleficent. So anyways, creating the world of Harry Potter Part 2 characters, plus some additional stuff. HBO f special first look at Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So, year three... And this is one of my personal favorite uh, parts of the series. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <clears throat> In their third year at Hogwarts, Harry, Ron, and Hermione meet escaped prisoner Sirius Black and learn how to handle a half-horse, half-eagle hippogriff, repel shape-shifting boggarts, and master the art of divination. Harry must also withstand soul-sucking Dementors, outsmart a dangerous werewolf, and deal with the truth about Sirius and his relationship to Harry and his parents. So we have Discs 1 and 2, the movie on Blu-ray and DVD, the Disc 3 uh, DVD special features, um, additional scenes, um, capturing the vision, in creating the vision, I'm sorry, interview with uh, Rowling and the filmmakers, etc. And then uh, part four, part three, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Of creating the world of Harry Potter creatures. So it goes over like the Hippogriff and the House Elves, etc. Um, tour Nick Dudman's Creature Shop, a special interview in Spanish with Alfonso Cuaron. Uh, didn't he also direct Gravity? I think so. And three vintage TV specials. The Magic Touch of Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Something Wicked This Way Comes, and The Making of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, plus trailers. And Year 4, which is, in my uh, opinion, the most intense uh, out of all the movies, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter is mysteriously entered into the Tri-Wizard Tournament, a grueling contest among three wizarding schools in which he confronts a dragon, water demons, and an enchanted maze only to find himself in, the, in Lord Voldemort's grasp. All will change when Harry, Ron, and Hermione leave childhood forever and, ch and face challenges beyond their imagining. So, discs one and two, uh, the movie on Blu-ray and DVD, respectively. Um... The Disc 3 special features, uh, preparing for the Yule Ball, conversations with the cast, reflections on the fourth film, etc. And then, uh, creating the world of Harry Potter, part four, sound and music, plus, uh, some other vintage TV specials and trailers, etc. And then, uh, year five, Order of the Phoenix, uh... Here's something ironic about it. Um, it's the longest book in the entire series. I think it said uh, 870 pages. Uh, it's more. It's way. It's more than uh, Deathly Hallows. And but this is the. Uh, if you count uh, the Deathly Hallows two movies, if you count them as one movie, um, then this is the shortest movie in the entire series. So, anyways, the description says. The rebellion begins. Lord Voldemort is back, but the Ministry of Magic is tries to keep a lid on the truth, including appointing a new, power-hungry defense against the dark arts teacher at Hogwarts. Ron and Hermione convince Harry to secretly train students for the Wizarding War Ahead. A terrifying showdown between evil and good awaits. So the first two discs, um, Blu-ray and DVD, uh, the movie, and then Creating the World of Harry Potter Part 5, Evolution, and it has uh, uh, some other stuff, like uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, including uh, something called Trailing Tonks, 
and which the actress who plays Nymphadora Tonks uh, leads a very personal film set tour and uh, some other stuff along that. So, um... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. And then we have Year 6, um, in which everything changes for our heroes. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Prince, sorry. As Lord Voldemort tightens his grip on both the Muggle and the Wizarding worlds, Dumbledore is more intent on preparing Harry for the battle fast approaching. Even as the showdown looms, romance blossoms for Harry, Ron, and Hermione and their classmates. Love is in the air, but danger lies ahead, and Hogwarts may never be the same again. True dat, some untold truths are finally revealed. Um, if you've uh, seen the movie and read the book, you would know, but um, if you haven't, well, you know... Well, let's not discuss that right now. So, um, Discs 1 and 2, Blu-ray and DVDs of the movie. Um, Disc 3, Creating the World of Harry Potter, Part 6, Magical Effects, um, and some other stuff, including trailers and stuff. It's really hard to read with that dark, with that dark color. But this will be easier. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1. Harry, Ron, and Hermione set out to track down and destroy the secret to Voldemort's power, the Horcruxes. On their own and on the run, the three must rely on each other more than ever, but dark forces threaten to tear them apart. So, discs one and two um, are the movie on Blu-ray and DVD. Disc three is Creating the World of Harry Potter, Part 7, Story, and some... Uh, other stuff, including, like, uh, the Weasleys, the, the look of Bill Weasley, one book, two movies, etc., deleted scenes, part, part one behind the soundtrack, part two sneak peek, stuff like that, and then disc four is the movie on, uh, Blu-ray 3D, and then we have the culmination of everything in this series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. In the epic finale, the battle between good and evil forces of the Wizarding World escalates into an all-out war. The stakes have never been higher, and no one is safe. But it is Harry who may be called upon to make the ultimate sacrifice as he draws closer to the climactic showdown with Lord Voldemort. It all ends here. So discs 1 and 2, the movie on Blu-ray and DVD respectively. Um, disc 3, Creating the World of Harry Potter, Part 8, Growing Up. Uh, some kind of looks back, maybe the final day on set and stuff. And then the, uh, the movie on Blu-ray 3D. Um, I'm kind of wishing I had a Blu-ray 3D player now. Might look cool. And then this is the bonus disc at the back. It includes extended, uh, the extended version of When Harry Left Hogwarts, the, de the definitive version of 50 Harry Potter, 50 Greatest Harry Potter Moments, Designing the World of Harry Potter, Secrets Revealed, Quidditch, Secrets Revealed, Hagrid, and the Harry Potters You Never Met. And then it finishes off with this uh, shot of uh, Hogwarts on fire during Deathly Hallows Part 2. And then on the very back, we have the final sh shot of the 17-year-old Harry, Ron, and Hermione. So, um, that is the complete... Harry Potter Hogwarts collection. Oh, and I forgot to point this out earlier. Um, this is basically kind of a re-release of this uh, big box set that Warner Brothers released back in September of 2012. Uh, um, it was called the Wizards Collection. It was basically just this huge red box that had all the movies and some memorabilia, including Slytherin's Locket. But um, it was like... Uh, over $350, I would guesstimate. Uh, it was probably more than that, but, you know, I mean, I just tried st st starting to save up for it, but, you know, it just ended up being too much money. So, um, so I got this set for, uh, maybe $90. Um, it would usually cost, like, uh, um, 130 on Amazon, but, um, I just remember the percentage now, 30% off, and it was a pretty sweet deal, and, I mean, there was no way I could pass that up. I mean, I've been saving up for this since I finished my uh, Lion King video. So, um, 
So this has been my uh, unboxing video for the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for some more videos. I am going to be trying to... Uh, I am currently working on reposting my uh, Zootopia videos that got blocked. Uh, you remember, if you've seen them, uh, Judy Hustles Nick, uh, Mystic Springs Oasis, and the last ones that I still have yet to post is at the DMV. So keep an look out for those, and um, I will try to post some other videos. I might, I'm thinking about getting a laptop so I can make some more videos uh, like with Premiere and stuff. But thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to... Um, to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen!